Although this shiny metal looks harmless, it's actually one of the most reactive metals on the periodic table. Today, we're going to look at three basic reactions between lithium and other elements and compounds. Warning, the following experiments involve highly reactive lithium metal, fire, and toxic gases. If performed, please use a fume hood or go outside and proceed with extreme caution. Lithium metal is a very soft, silvery white metal and is the first of the alkali metals. Its valence shell of electrons has only one electron, making it very reactive. Lithium has many uses, its greatest being in batteries. It is also used in lithium grease and mental medication. Now let's see its power and get on with the fun. For our first reaction, we're going to react lithium with water to get lithium hydroxide. This reaction will start with two atoms of lithium plus two molecules of water. To get two molecules of lithium hydroxide and a diatomic molecule of hydrogen gas. For this reaction, we simply take some lithium and drop it into some water. You can see how vigorous this reaction is, releasing the hydrogen gas. This is also very exothermic. The lithium almost seems to dissolve, but it's actually turning into lithium hydroxide, which dissolves in the water, which then can be boiled out to get this white powder. Okay, now we're going to take lithium and make lithium oxide. Alright, this reaction will use four atoms of lithium plus the diatomic molecule of oxygen to get two molecules of lithium oxide and a lot of heat. For this reaction, we simply take some lithium and light it on fire using a torch. You can see how exothermic this is. It burns white hot. And the smoke coming off is the lithium oxide. Now the camera doesn't do the justice. This is incredibly bright. It's lighting up my entire lab. I can't even look at it. Now as it begins to cool down, you can see the white crystals of lithium oxide that are left behind. Now that was cool and all, but let's try it in an enriched oxygen environment. This time, we're going to start by heating up the lithium as before. And then placing a jar of about 50% oxygen over it. You can see how quickly the lithium lights up. It burns even brighter than before, but this time you can also get the characteristic lithium red color of the flame. And the smoke, of course, again, is the lithium oxide. Okay, now we've come to our most dangerous reaction of the day, so do not try this at home. For this reaction, we're going to need two atoms of lithium plus two molecules of hydrochloric acid to get two molecules of lithium chloride with the diatomic molecule of hydrogen gas. For this reaction, we're going to simply take some lithium and put it into some dilute hydrochloric acid. This is very exothermic and releases hydrogen gas, which ignites and explodes. Oh. And now you know three basic chemical reactions between lithium and other elements and compounds. If you liked this video, maybe you'd like some of our other videos. So check them out, subscribe, like, and comment.